Is it 1 a.m. in the morning? Sure is. Am I exhausted? Absolutely. Let's go over how to find some tombstones of astronomy efficiently, not so much quickly, because there's really no such thing as doing anything quickly in Final Fantasy XIV. With the new relic weapon, Manderville, everyone's going to be scrounging for new tombstones of astronomy in order to buy their starting relic weapon for each of the jobs that they like. It costs about 1,500 tombstones of astronomy, which is a very steep price, but not uncommon for these type of things. Now, everyone's going to be looking all over YouTube, trying to figure out what the best way to get them is. And honestly, there just really is no best way, unless you have a group of four people and have just a high amount of ether pool and want to do palace of the dead you can do that but i personally don't like palace of the dead i don't know too many people who have 50 to 60 unlocked or 60 to 70 unlocked or 1 to 10 and then 10 to 20 and then you just run that over and over again i'd rather stab my eyes out with a fork i personally like the efficient way where i can do five things at once and kind of kill 10 birds with one stone the other way that people are going to talk about is duty roulette those can work if you have all your jobs to 90 not everyone does but some people do like myself and a few others in my discord and in my community that's a really great and easy way to do it but if you're at the end of the game and and you still haven't leveled all your jobs, you might not want to spend that experience by getting tombstones. It's kind of a hefty sacrifice and one not a lot of people are willing to make. Now, where does that leave us? There's really only two ways for people who don't have a lot of friends, <laughs> like me, <laughs> or people who just don't want to do anything with the group, or people who just want to do it on their own time. The first way is going to be, of course, PvP. Now hear me out, I know a lot of people here don't like PvP, but PvP is a really great, easy, fast way to get not only Tombstones of Astronomy, but also Tombstones of causal Causality or Causality. I can never remember. And you can work towards your shiny new mount that is available at level 25 of PVP and you don't want to miss that out. I've seen you guys do some horrible, tedious things for mounts and glamours. So don't put off getting your PVP mount until the last minute or you're really going to hate yourself. I don't wait too long for PVP queue times, maybe five minutes. If that, if you're on during like really peak hours, then it's almost instant all the time. For me, they last about five to seven minutes. You get 20 tombstones of astronomy and 10 tombstones of causality and those are just great ways in general even without the relic weapon to get those type of tombstones and end game tombstones to max out every week again shiny dragon mount only way to get this mount as of right now i'm sure it'll come back in some way in the future but as of right now this is the only way so you should just grab it while we can the next way that i and every other youtuber is probably going to tell you to do is hunts Hunts are not something new. They've been around forever. And essentially you just go on a train between 15 and 16 hunt marks that you can find in the Centurio Discord. I will link that list cord down below. Everyone should be a part of it. They do a phenomenal job there. And basically you pick your data center role. You get pinged if you collect the train role, which is for Endwalker. You just go around killing bosses in less than like a minute or 30 seconds because there's a hundred other people there killing the bosses with you not only do you get tombstones of causality astronomy and sack of nuts which is another currency for end game that you can use to buy mounts glams minions through these cheeky little vendors but you can also get those juicy juicy clusters which you can turn in for materia now materia 9 not so much but materia 10 you're going to need to buy materia for your new relic weapons that you'll be melting. Those have always been a surefire way to make money on the market board because everyone always needs them. Especially those of us who play multiple jobs and want to have multiple jobs geared. We usually have to pentameld multiple jobs so we can be ready to play whatever we want, whenever we want, whenever we do extremes, savage tier, whatever. So on my server on Goblin, they go anywhere from 10 to 20k almost all the time, depending on where we at or on patch. And I just think it's a really good way. You should be incorporating hunts regularly when you're online playing. Hunts don't happen all the time or every hour, but you can get pinged for them and you should always pick up the role every time you get on or just keep the role and mute the server and check it every so often because you just never know how quickly you can stock up on these tombstones in such a short amount of time. These are just the most efficient ways to get tombstones. There's not really any other content that I can think of off the top of my head or before looking and making this video. Relics are kind of like that time to fill in gaps between patches and gives people something to do and work on. The reason that people want to grab multiple relics usually is mostly for the glam options, which 
this community is super crazy about glamours and will do just about anything for some really cool weapon glam. So relics are just nothing new to Final Fantasy and we're just starting the Manderville. I'm really hoping that the end of the Manderville relics look really hella sick. Hope they don't go like the goofy route. I'm sure there might be one or two steps in there that are goofy, but it's going to get really grindy later on. So I would just grab what you want to for your main. So I'm just going to grab a tank killer DPS one, which mine are going to be warrior, black mage, and and Sage. I personally like those ones the best. Let me know which ones you're going to grab. I'm interested to see what they're going to look like and I hope you all have a lot of fun farming tombstones for the next couple of weeks to grab all the relics you want. If you do the duty roulette route, you probably get one like once every two days or so. So that's not a bad way to go about it if you're willing to sacrifice the experience for leveling other jobs. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.